lesson a lot of people are getting is I think when people are new they they're quick to try to copy their favorite lifter and then eventually they'll they'll culture um, i mean I, I don't, i'm so con confuddled here yeah i'm using words like confuddled with drunk words yeah. and it's a word it's canon of the stronger by science podcast we're always I'm friends with eurasia that has been since time immemorial uh you're correct the, the only thing i am absolutely clear on is you're correct with what you just said yeah i we we came out of a, a, a of a of, of a dark age yeah you know we recently had a episode <laughs> Totally not forced on us. Celebrating oh. Sigma Nutrition Radio, both of us came alive away from that, and I was actually there in person yeah. with that crew. I'm not gonna name any names. And the point being is, those fences are mended. Yeah, um, I keep them on side of that fence. They're not proud of it. They like sure, and some of them uh, might think this is necessary, but part of them feels deep down inside this was tough. You know, because I, I I don't really want to get fired. That was the technology. No. Yeah. So, yeah. so that's I mean damage control. Is can we get one of those? So the beauty of it, we didn't regress, but it was basically we didn't see the late hypertrophy at the whole muscle level. So the question here is is well, well what is happening? I think we're going down as well as uh, losses of muscle glycogen and other things that we wouldn't care about due to detraining, right? Or that there might have been two competing signals there because of the detraining.